The Hedgeosaurus. Ronnie has a secret which he's dying to share, but he could never tell anyone. He just wouldn't dare. Outside in his garden, right down at the end, that's where he lives. His secret friend, Steg. He found him near bedtime. Steg was just waking up. He sleeps all the daytime till the moon shows up. He's only a baby one, but Ronnie is sure his secret new friend is a young dinosaur. Steg is still very small, much smaller than us, but when he grows up, he'll be as big as a bus. Steg. Likes to snuffle with his cute tiny jaws, but when he grows up, he'll let out a huge roar. Steg eats moss and fern, and frogs, snails, and berries, but loves insects the most. They fill up his belly. He also loves earthworms, so Ronnie stamps. On the ground, they think it's a rainstorm. Then Steg munches them down. Ronnie loves Steg, and Steg loves him back. If they ever split up, Ronnie's heart would crack. Then, one winter day, his secret slipped out. While watching a dino movie, Ronnie let out a shout. Like Steg in our garden, there's a dinosaur in our garden. Mum let out a shriek. There's a one in the well now. Yawned Dad, half asleep. So that's who you play with when it's time for your bed. Then please introduce us, Mum and Dad said. So into the garden, right down to the end, went Mum, Dad, and Ronnie to meet Ronnie's friend. But. Steg had gone. Da, da, da. They searched and they searched, but Steg was nowhere to be seen. Mum dried her son's tears. Dad said it was all just a dream. Ronnie spent all that winter searching for Steg, but it was cold in the garden, so Mum would send him to bed. Ronnie missed Steg so much. He was sad for so long. He just did not know where his best friend had gone. Then his teacher was ill, so the class had another. He was nice. He was kind. He was called Mr. Glover. He saw Ronnie was sad, so he asked him why. So Ronnie talked about Steg. Then he started to cry. Wow, a pet dinosaur! You're one lucky guy. I think I know where he is. These tears were must dry. Then Mr. Glover smiled and showed him a book. The stag looked like this. Ronnie took a look. Mr. Glover explained when it's cold and there's snow, creatures like stag find a new place to go. They collect twigs and leaves to build a warm nest. They sleep there all winter for a super long rest. So Steg will be back. We、we'll、just have to wait. It's a bit cold still. He must still hibernate. So Ronnie felt a bit better. He now understood that his friend went away, but had not gone for good. Then. One fine crisp day, spring leaves they did shuffle. At the end of the garden, Ronnie heard a faint snuffle. Out popped a black snout, then two shiny eyes. His best friend was back. He had doubled in size. Ronnie felt delighted to see his old friend. Two friends reunited. Till the very end, and now Ronnie's a grown-up. He's older. 
He's wise. Steg's grown up too. He's not quite the same size. Ronnie's new garden is massive. It's huge. It's enormous. The perfect new home for his pet, Stegosaurus. <gasps> the end.